So it's pizza day today in my cheesy kitchen and I'm going to show you how to make a roasted garlic pineapple paneer pizza. I'm going to be using two different types of cheeses today. One is a Britannia's roasted garlic cheese spread which goes into the topping and the other of course is the Britannia cheese which is a cheese for the pizza. Together these two cheeses are going to add a delicious impeccable taste to our pizza. So let's just dive right in and I'll show you how to make it. So the first step is to make the pizza dough. So in my bowl, I have one cup of wheat flour and one cup of maida. I always like using 50-50 flour so it tastes really nice. So into this, I'm just going to go ahead and add in my instant yeast, some sugar, salt to taste, and we'll mix all of this up very well and then knead it along with warm water to make a nice smooth dough and then finally drizzle it with some olive oil. Okay, I'm just going to go ahead and add a little warm water at a time and then need to make a nice smooth dough. So now that the dough has come together, I'm just going to go ahead and drizzle in some olive oil and then knead it again for a couple of minutes and then we'll allow it to rest for about two hours until it doubles in size, okay? Great, the dough looks smooth now. So at this stage, I'm just going to cover it and allow it to rest for a couple of hours. So early this morning, I actually made one batch of the dough and, uh, and I'll show you how it looks. It's already risen and it looks just perfect. Let me just cover this and keep this to the side and show you the risen dough. So this is the risen dough and notice how beautiful it looks. It's got nice air pockets inside it. And I'm gonna keep this aside and then show you how to make the pizza topping with the Britannia's roasted garlic cheese spread in just a bit, okay? So for the topping, I have like a mixing bowl ready and into that I'm gonna add in the uh, bell peppers or the capsicum. You can add any color of your choice, some onions, and some pineapple, which is cooked pineapple. And finally, some chopped paneer pieces. Great, so to this, I'm just going to add in some mixed herbs and then mix it all up really well. So the next thing that I'm going to do is to use the Britannia roasted garlic cheese spread uh, to the topping. It's thick, creamy and it's going to add a burst of flavours to our topping. Uh, Britannia comes with six different uh, flavours of cheese spreads and you, in fact you can use almost any of it to uh, add to the flavour of this topping and they are really really versatile. It spreads like magic so it's great over toast and I use it in many different ways from adding it into pasta sauces, dips, uh, making a bechamel sauce for a gratin and a whole lot more. So let me just get in, add a dollop into our topping and then move on to the next step. Just gonna open the cheese spread. So I'm ready to add a dollop of the Britannia roasted garlic cheese spread. Great. So I'm just gonna use my fingers and then mix it well into the topping to add a really creamy consistency to our topping. All right, now this is done. Now I'm ready to grate the Britannia cheese for making the pizza. So let me just get to that. So I'm ready to grate in my Britannia cheese. Notice how beautifully it grates and it gives out beautiful cheese shavings that you can use over pizzas. The Britannia cheese is a wonder cheese from Britannia which is packed with flavor and taste from mozzarella and cheddar and gives a nice stringy and melty uh, texture to the pizza and it's a cheese that is made specially for pizzas. So I love using this cheese for pizzas because it's packed with flavor and it gives a great texture as well. All right, I'm done grating the Britannia cheese and now I'm finally ready to put the pizza together. So I've divided the dough into two, so now I'm ready to roll out my pizza crust. So I'm gonna dust the surface with flour and I'm gonna also dust the dough with a little bit of flour as well so it rolls out beautifully. Okay, just gonna pat the dough with my hand and then stretch it to make a pizza crust. And We'll just spread it and make sure that it's even on all the sides and on the inside. Great, it looks good. Just flip it around a little bit like that and this is perfect. So now what I'm going to do is to lift this and put it onto my pizza pan and then add in all the toppings. So I'm going to go ahead and place the pizza base onto the pizza pan and at this stage I'm just going to go ahead and shape it if it's torn a bit and all right, so now that this is set, I'm ready to put in the pizza sauce and all the remaining toppings. So I'm gonna to spread the pizza sauce first. 
So now that I've spread the sauce, I'm going to go ahead and add the topping that we made a little earlier, the pineapple paneer topping with the Britannia roasted garlic cheese spread. So the paneer and pineapple have soaked in all the flavors of the Britannia roasted garlic cheese spread. It smells so good. Great, so now that I've added the pineapple and the paneer topping, I'm going to add in a few more important toppings which is going to add to the taste. So the next is going to add in some broccoli florets. Great, and then finally some black olives. And of course, the jalapenos that goes without saying for a pineapple pizza, we have to have some jalapenos. It adds in that spice and chili which tastes really nice. Okay, and the last thing is going to be our Britannia cheesa. So the Britannia cheesa is one of my favorite cheese for pizza because it's really tasty and it melts so perfectly. Great, so I'm ready to put my pizza into the oven and bake it at 220 to 240 degrees centigrade um, until the cheese melts and you see a nice golden crust. Okay, so I'm just going to do that. All right. Wow, look at that beauty. I love how the Britannia cheese has melted. I can't wait to take a bite. Absolutely tasty. I can feel the cheese, the Britannia cheese has melted so beautifully. Mmm, I got a crunch of that jalapeno and pineapple as well. Yummy. You must try this pizza out because it's absolutely delicious. I love the flavors of the Britannia roasted garlic cheese spread as well as the beautifully melted Britannia cheese on the top. Do give this recipe a try and don't forget to take a snapshot and share your cheesy kitchen moments with us. We'd love to hear back from you. So until then, until next time, happy cooking and healthy eating.